Good afternoon again. You get two videos on a Friday. How lucky you are. So, here's what we call the Midlands. If you've watched the videos, you'll know at one time, there on that concrete slab, there was a, or next to the concrete slab, I guess. The concrete slab is the patio. There was a nasty old trailer that people had issues with chemicals living in it and then abandoned it. And we bought this lot and I tore down that trailer. So we've been thinking about doing a uh, some garden tours of our lot there, the food forest, to inspire people. And then this one and this one as an inspiration, but also as a uh, warning what you might get into. So here, this empty patch that we have here, that is what I had covered up with black plastic, solarized it, killed off all the grass. That hole right there, right there, that was a burn pile. Oops. So that's the first thing you have to deal with, is once you get into it, you start finding all the garbage that's been left behind on a urban lot or suburban lot or just a or old lot, let's say. So this patch here, as I've said in the past, is going to be prairie grass. Some of that might change. It might be some prairie grass and some sunflowers or right now where the fence is, I've got uh, black locust seeds started. I'm going to get those started. We're going to plant black locust there and keep it coppiced and hedged as a thorny fence with a regular fence behind it. So here you can see I got all kinds of little plastic crap. Just junk. The detritus of civilization. Then we got this lovely sidewalk that's all falling apart. It's gonna stay. We'll keep it. <coughs> and there's a little hole there and there's a patch over there that had those metal uh, satellite posts sticking out of them. You gotta deal with. I'm sure there's a bunch of crap. I'm sure I will be raking up plastic garbage for years. So this area here, what I found out, is all this gravel. Decorative gravel. So, if I want to plant something there, I gotta figure out how to work around that. That will probably be prairie grass also. Or prairie plants. Stuff that can dig it up. The other thing I forgot about this patch here is when I was digging post holes and when I was digging in that I hit that bed of clay so there's black dirt on top just built up from stuff growing and dying and there's clay and below the clay is gravel so I got a feeling at one time that area there was maybe like a parking lot or you know overflow for gravel from the garage maybe I don't know for sure but there are all sorts of little things that you find as you're digging and working your way through the soil on a piece of lot that used to be a, a house. You find all sorts of little things. So I'm thinking sunflowers there because of that clay. Prairie grass with it because the sunflowers will grow and die and the prairie grass will stay. So the next thing you got to deal with when you're having a lot like this where you're trying to reclaim it is you get concrete. Concrete, the footprint of civilization, or uncivilized, whatever you want to call it. So I've been drilling holes, I've busted some of it up. I've got little steel feather, feathers and wedges is what they call them. So I drill the hole, drop the feather and wedge in the hole, smack it with a sledgehammer, and it creates a crack. Hopefully, each one of these little lines of three holes create a crack make it usable so I can move it easy I'm gonna get this one done first move shift all the concrete over there to the big slab start on that one shift all the concrete out of that I burned a bunch you can see the black scars of the waste and stuff from this bed what I'm thinking of doing is planting in uh, some cover crops help break up the soil get stuff moved you also end up with all this gravel, lots of little gravel. That's going to be a bear to deal with. I'll be raking that and moving it around, shoveling it out. 
So maybe uh, I've got some vernal alfalfa seed that I need to plant. I've got some barley I need to plant. The fall plan for this is probably turnips, radishes, summer, maybe uh, southern peas again. <coughs> Okra. I got all this stuff here, these little metal things sticking out of the ground I gotta contend with. An old telephone post to contend with. Weedy little trees that I need to get out. Then over here, I got one bed I laid down. Built up bed there. That is uh, compost and then this manure and sawdust that's not broken down very well yet. That needs to get take, done. That hopefully will be carrots. I'll have time for carrots. This mulch I made the mistake of getting. It was their one cut that they had. And it's not what I wanted. I'm not happy with it. Right now I've spread it out, kind of shifted it. When it was wet, the other day it looked pretty good. Now that we've had rain, it's washed off all the good, the good composted stuff and just left me with the uh, chip. So we're gonna probably end up using that as mulch, but that idea for that being a bed is kind of blown, I think. And my little shed, got the metal up on it, got a finish. Ran into some stuff with getting her done. The knee and all that has caused me more trouble. And I've got doors to put on it still. That's just time and working. I'll tell you what, I didn't realize how much the knee would knock me down on getting stuff done. But on this lot here, you know, we got the fences. Fence posts are up, working on that concrete, working on figuring out beds. Working on, lots of working on. Better than fixing to. That's another story. So, we'll have more, I hope. Make a uh, video log of how things go with this here Midland lot and always more and more going on over at the main lot. And uh, y'all have a beautiful day. Go grow something.